I currently have a philosophy about food now, and, and it would be kind of keep it simple, meaning that the best thing I think I could give you is a beautiful, just right, juicy tomato out of my garden, a little bit of sea salt, and a little bit of olive oil and fresh lemon juice, and just keeping it simple and highlighting these beautiful, beautiful flavors. Oh, it's two, two to 36. What a big world this is of just wonderful, wonderful food. You know, I'm fascinated by warm climate areas and, and the food that comes from there. And I'm a big student of food history. I, I like to use kind of what I've read and what I've seen to influence what we're gonna come with for each menu or each special. We deal with farmers, so I'm getting an email a day, maybe three a day from different farms telling us what's available. We leave our menu somewhat vague, so I'm able to bring in what they have that's fresh and make something really beautiful with it kind of in the moment. For a home cook, what, what I say is cook what you like and it's okay to make mistakes. I often think that people feel there's rules and certain ways things has to be, but I think you're, what you're able to do is, is play with stuff. And if you make a mistake, that's okay, just try not to make that again. Well, the food at Tremont 647 is highlighted by our wood grill. Though I like to keep things simple, I really just love kind of dynamic, big flavors. So what we try to do is highlight kind of areas that we're fascinated by for cooking. You might see a vegetarian dish that's Indian in nature, but then you might see a fish dish that's more Spanish. Chips squat, please. I'm not just cooking for myself, I'm also cooking for the customer. I want them to have that one awesome bite and go, yeah, I'm definitely gonna eat the rest of this. That's money. That's it.